I am telling you, watch this and you'll never have to tie another pair of your shoes ever again. After doing this method right here, I have never tied my shoes or ever went back since. This is the finishing product and how your shoes should look like, but let's go ahead and lace these shoes once again. I'm going to go ahead and start with this shoe. So now that we have fully unlaced our shoe, finally, make sure you have equal sides of each lace. Once you have made sure that your laces are equal on both sides and you have attached them inside. And the way I did this, you guys, is I just attached them from the outside in and you guys can go ahead and tap into my other video on how to lace your Air Force Ones. That would go in depth on how to do that. Once we go ahead and lace our shoe until the first eyelid as you guys can see right here basically what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and take our right lace and once we take our right lace we want to go inside the other side and then out and then you also do want to make sure you maintain the straightness that's where you guys kind of see my hand there but as you guys can see Sometimes it won't be straight all the time. So what you can do is go ahead and twist it so it is straight, but that doesn't work. You can go ahead and pull it out until it is straight and then maintain the straightness throughout as you guys can see. So that is one side. Now we want to go ahead and take our left side, which is my left, put it inside out on the other side, as you guys can see on this eyelid. And then once again, if you do have occurrences where it kind of gets tangled, do not be worried. Just take it out easily, put it back in. So now you want to take the side that you just did insert, take it, and then let's put it inside out on this eyelid. Right here, as you guys can see, the next available eyelid. And we'll put it inside, out, put it all the way through. There we go. And then we'll take the left side and then we'll go ahead and put it inside this eyelid, as you guys can see. So we'll go ahead, put it inside out. Super easy. And we're basically gonna be continually repeating this process over and over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this right lace, as you guys can see, and then I will go ahead and put it inside out into this eyelid right here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and take the left side. We'll do inside out. So, now that we have gotten to the point where we need to put it inside of this little loop, Quick disclaimer, not all shoes may have this little loop, but the inside out method still remains the same. What we'll go ahead and do is we'll take the same side that we just finished putting inside and then we'll put it inside this loop and it will come out directly to the other side. And then we'll pull it just to maintain the straightness. Once we went ahead and did that, we will go ahead and put this lace inside out still. Same thing for the other side, but for the other side, meaning the left side, we want to go ahead and put this lace up so it's a little visible for us to see. And then we'll put it on top of the other one. As you guys can see, it is coming out on the other side and on top. And you just want to go ahead and pull it straight through. There you have it. You guys can kind of see it is starting to form. But with that being said, let us go ahead and finish the job. We'll put this into the eyelid. Once we went ahead and did that, let's go ahead and take our right side once again. We're gonna take our right side and put it inside out into this eyelid, as you guys can see. Inside out. Then next side, go ahead and do the same. And 
then we'll go ahead and repeat this process. We'll go with the right side, put it inside out. Left side, inside out. And then, now we have approached the final eyelids of the shoe. So, we're gonna go ahead and do the same process for the eyelids. Take the right side and put it inside out. And take the left side, put it inside out. Then, as you guys can see, we have the finished product, but what we need to go ahead and do now, and it's gonna actually make it so that you don't have to actually tie your shoe, is you wanna take the remaining laces on each side, pull from here so that on each side you have a little bit of lace left. Once you go ahead and do that on both sides, you guys go ahead and take this lace, pull the tongue up so it's easy and visible, and put the lace under the tongue, like so. And then as you guys can see, this is the finished product. But if you still have troubles, watch my other video on how to lace your Air Force Ones and you'll definitely be right, y'all. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be the best thing to ever do to your shoes. You'll never have to tie your shoes ever again. So with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next video.